Hello everyone! Lalo na sa mga batang nanonood. Para sa video natin ngayong araw na ito, ay ating i-discuss ang tungkol sa equation of a circle using a center radius form. But before we proceed with our lesson, let us review some information about circle that we will be using in our topic for today. So, circle is a set of all points x, y in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point called the center. For example, this is our circle and this fixed point is what we call the center. And all the points here in the circumference of our circle is equidistant to our center. It means that the distance from all the points here to our center are all equal. Okay, so let us name our center as point A. Therefore, the name of our circle is circle A. Next, the radius is the other term that is very important in our lesson for today. So again, radius is a line segment that joins the center of a circle with any point on the circumference of the circle. So for example, so from our center to this point, which is point B, so the line segment form is what we call the radius of our circle. So line segment AB is the radius of circle A. Another one, from our center, which is point A, to this point, which is point C. So the line segment formed is also the radius of our circle. And another one, from point A to point D, the line segment AD is also a radius. So line segment AB, line segment AC, and line segment AD the three of them are all radii of our circle A. So when we say radii, that is the plural form for radius. Before we discuss writing the equation of the circle using center HK and the radius, let us first discuss how to write equation of the circle with center at the origin. In the circle at the right, let point x, y represents any point on the circle whose center is the origin. Let r represents the radius of the circle. Let us draw a line from point x, y up to this point, and as you can see, this line is perpendicular to our x-axis and we formed a right triangle. Let us label the shorter side of our triangle as x and the longer side as y. In a right triangle at the right, R represents the hypotenuse, which is the longest side of our right triangle, while X and Y represent the length of the legs. So maybe you are asking why we draw a right triangle inside our circle. So it is because we are going to apply the right triangle theorem in deriving the equation of the circle with center at the origin. Because we will be applying the concept of right triangle, we will be using Pythagorean theorem in deriving the equation of the circle with center at the origin. Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where a and b are the legs of the triangle, and c is the hypotenuse, which is the longest side of our right triangle. We're going to use the formula a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared to write the equation of this circle. So look at the two triangles. As you can see, in this triangle, the shorter side is represented by a, while the shorter side in our triangle inside the circle, it is represented by x. So, it means that you are going to substitute the value of A by X in this formula. So, it will become X squared. Then, for the value of B, as you can see, the longer side is represented by B, while in this triangle inside the circle, 
the longest the longer side is represented by y so therefore you are going to substitute b by y so it will become plus y squared and for our c which is the hypotenuse in this triangle it is represented by r so it will become r squared so the equation of the circle with center at the origin derived from the pythagorean theorem is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared so let's have our first example write the equation of the circle whose radius is 5 and the center is at the origin for our solution use the formula x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared substitute the value of our radius which is 5 so we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 5 squared so the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 so 5 squared or 5 times 5 is equal to 25 next write the equation of the circle whose radius is 7 and the center is at 0 0 or at the origin using the formula x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared again substitute the value of our radius which is 7 so we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 7 squared therefore the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to 49 again 7 squared or 7 times 7 is equal to 49 Let's have our third example. Find the center and the radius of the circle given the equation x squared plus y squared equals 64 and then draw its graph. So use the formula x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Then write the given equation x squared plus y squared equals 64. So we have now x squared plus y squared is equal to 8 squared so the square root of 64 is equal to 8 therefore the center is at 0 0 and the radius of the circle is equal to 8 units so now let us graph our equation x squared plus y squared equals 64 so to easily graph this so from our center which is the origin we are going to mark the points on our coordinate plane. So, from our origin, we are going to move 8 units above, below, to the left, and to the right of our center. So, let's have first to the right of our center. So, let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so this is the first point above our origin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so here and to the left of our origin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 is 1 and below our origin move 8 units 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now that we have these points, we can now draw our circle. Then, draw a radius from our center to any points within our circumference of the circle. So, this is our radius. And our radius is equal to A. So, this is the graph of our equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 64. So we are now at writing the equation of the circle using center hk and the radius. So this is also called the standard form of the equation of a circle. So the standard equation of a circle with center at hk and the radius of r units is the quantity of x minus h is squared plus the quantity of y minus k is squared is equal to r squared. The values of h and k indicate that the circle is translated h units horizontally 
and k units vertically from the origin. Let's have example. Write the center radius form of the equation of the circle with center at 0.62 and a radius of 9 units. For our solution, so we have the value of h which is 6, this is our h. Then the value of k which is 2, this is the value of k. And for our radius, we have 9. Using the formula, the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So substitute the values of our given. We have the quantity of x minus the value of h which is 6 squared plus the quantity of y minus the value of k which is 2 squared is equal to the value of r which is 9 then squared. Therefore, the equation of our circle with center at 6, 2 and the radius of 9 is equal to the quantity of x minus 6 is squared plus the quantity of y minus 2 is squared equals 81. So 9 squared or 9 times 9 is equal to 81. So let's have the second example. Write the center radius form of the equation of the circle with center at negative 4, negative 9, and the radius of 8 units. So for our solution, we have the value of h is equal to negative 4. Then the value of k is equal to negative 9. And our radius is equal to 8. Using the formula, substitute the values of our given. So we have now the quantity of x minus negative 4 is squared plus the quantity of y minus negative 9 is squared is equal to the value of r which is 8 then squared. Let us simplify. So we have the quantity of x plus 4 is squared so it will become addition because here we have negative times negative it is positive so it will become addition plus y plus 9 is squared so again this is addition because negative times negative is equal to positive is equal to 8 squared which is 64 therefore the equation of our circle is the quantity of x plus 4 is squared plus the quantity of y plus 9 is squared equals 64 Now, let's have our third example. Determine the center and the radius of the circle given the equation the quantity of x minus 2 is squared plus the quantity of y minus 4 is squared is equal to 25 and draw its graph. So using our formula, we're going to find the value of h and the value of k and also the value of our radius. So from our given equation, so we have the quantity of x minus 2 is squared. So the value of h here is 2. So h is equal to 2. And for our k, the value of k, this one is equal to 4. So k is equal to 4. And to find for the value of our r, we are going to find the square root of 20. Five. So the square root of 25 is equal to 5. So the value of our radius is equal to 5 units. So therefore, the center of our circle whose equation is the quantity of x minus 2 is squared plus the quantity of y minus 4 is squared equals 25 is at 0.24 and the radius is 5 units. So now, let us draw the graph of our circle. So this is our center which is at 0.24. So to draw our circle, we are going to count 5 units above, below, and to the left and right of our center. So let's have first above our center. 
So from 0 0.24, we're going to count 5 units above. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the first point. Next, to the left of our center. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Then below our center. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. So this is our next point. And lastly, to our right, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the last point. And now we can draw our circle. Then draw a radius from the origin to any point on the circle. So we have this 1 and our radius is equal to 5. So this is the graph of our equation the quantity of x minus 2 squared plus the quantity of y minus 4 squared equals 25. Now let's solve our fourth example. A particular cell phone tower is designed to service a 12-mile radius. The tower is located at negative 3, 5 on the coordinate plane whose units represent miles. What is the standard equation of the outer boundary of the region serviced by the tower? Is a cell phone user at point 0.80 within the service range? Explain. Okay, so now let us look at our illustration. So as you can see, our tower or the cell phone tower is located at negative 3, 5. And our, in our given, the radius is equal to 12 miles. So to draw our circle, we are going to count 12 units above our center, which is negative 3, 5, then below our center, and also left and right of our center. So let's start. So above our center, we have 12 units above, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the first point is here at negative 3, 17. Then, for our second point, count 12 units to the left. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. So this is the next point. Then for the third point, let us count 12 units below. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so this one. And for our last point, to the right of our center, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is the last point. Now that we have already plotted the points, we can now draw our circle. Okay, so this is our circle with radius equal to 12 miles. And for our first question, what is the standard equation of the outer boundary of the region serviced by the tower? So for our solution, let us first find the values of our h, k, and r. For our h, we have negative 3. So this is the value of our h. For our k, we have 5. And for the value of our radius, we have r is equal to 12. Let us use the formula in finding the standard equation of our outer boundary. So substitute the values of our given. So we have the quantity of x minus the value of h, which is negative 3 squared, plus the quantity of y minus the value of k, which is 5 squared, is equal to the value of r, which is 12, then squared. Let us simplify we have 
the quantity of x plus 3 is squared. So again, this is positive because we have here negative times negative equals positive. So this will become addition. Plus, the quantity of y minus 5 is squared is equal to 144. So 144 comes from 12 squared. So 12 times 12 is equal to 144. So therefore, the standard equation of the outer boundary of the region serviced by the tower is the quantity of x plus 3 is squared plus the quantity of y minus 5 squared equals 144. Let's have our next question. Is a cell phone user at point 0.80 within the service range? Explain. Okay, so let us illustrate again to see if the cell phone user is standing at point 0.80 is within uh, the service range of the tower. Again, the tower is located at negative 3.5. Then the cell phone user is standing at point 0.80. So let us draw again our circle. So to draw, again 12 units above, then 12 units to the left, 12 units below, and 12 units to the right of our center, negative 3, 5. Then draw our circle. Then the radius of our circle is equal to 12 miles. So as you can see, 0 0.80 where the cell phone user is standing is within the circumference of our circle so therefore the cell phone user is within the service range so the answer is yes because the point where the cell phone user is standing is inside the service range of the tower so ibig sabihin nasa service range siya Yung cellphone user natin ay pwede pa rin makatawag, makasend ng call and text dahil siya ay nasa loob ng service range ng ating tower. So that's all for this video lesson and I hope it will help you understand how to write equation of a circle. See you on the next videos. Goodbye!